What's going on YouTube? JT is reborn here and welcome back to another edition of my Godzilla comic book reviews and in this video I'm going to be talking about Godzilla Here There Be Dragons issue number one. I think this is gonna be like what like a five issue miniseries but this is the latest IDW comic. It's kind of a little standalone series. It's Godzilla. It's a story set in the 1500s and it's pirate themed. This is a completely original like uh, like Godzilla story, something we've never actually really had before. So that's kind of what has me really most excited about it. You have things that I love, you got pirates, and you got Godzilla, which makes it all the more interesting. Now this issue is kind of just kind of getting the backdrop for the story, more of the setup for things to come. I honestly don't know which direction this thing is going to go in. There's not really any big kaiju action. It's kind of a story about a pirate. You can pretty much just assume that this guy is like a Jack Sparrow type and before he gets hung he like convinces these people to kind of hear a story out about like this huge treasure on this place called monster island and like i said you got like characters like sir francis drake which made me think back to uh uncharted with that whole like connection there so this one is written by frank thierry and artwork by inaki miranda i'm not quite familiar with uh these artists on here but like i said i like the take i, I like the setup of it and I'm interested to see really where it goes from here. But like I said, it's just about this pirate telling the story. Uh, originally, this one crew had this treasure, and then they decided to hide it here on Monster Island, which is kind of like one of the hidden places on the map. You can even see here you get cameos from other different monsters on this map. It looks like Ebra. You've got, like, the Kraken. You can consider that, like, the giant octopus from the Toho series. You got King Ghidorah. Godzilla's involved there somewhere. You got Mothra. So, like, they hide this treasure on Monster Island, and then Sir Francis Drake, if you will, gets aware of it. He finds, like, a Godzilla-focused, like, um, gold to bloom, if you will. He enlists the help of the queen and that to go on a mission to search for this treasure and bring it back, uh, if you will. And then, basically, the, the mission goes crazy. <clears throat> They do find uh, this monster island, but the issue kind of ends on a bit of a cliffhanger where these pirates come face to face with Godzilla in all his uh, glory. So that's the issue in a nutshell. There's some really great looking artwork in this thing. And again, this is more of a setup for whatever the story is going to unfold because with this really inferior technology that these pirate ships have they're not really going to stand a chance against godzilla i mean even like the modern military and all their techno gizmos and all that they don't really stand a chance against godzilla but i'm really intrigued to see where the story kind of goes from here because we just got kind of the backdrop of the story what's godzilla's purpose what other monsters are going to show up i mean you see in this here you see megalon um i, I can't tell who that quite is. is that baragon in the top right corner right over here uh, they got the horn right there so it kind of looks like them you have Angris in the background, Gigan, uh, who's a cyborg, so it'll be interesting to see how he kind of plays into this thing. Maybe aliens will show up. I don't know, but I think the pirate angle and I think the artwork is enough to really sell me on this thing. Like I said, there's no big monster action really in this particular issue. It's kind of the backdrop for a, a, gra a much grander story, and this is just kind of the intro to the world. Is this the most exciting comic I've ever read in terms of Godzilla stuff, like in terms of a single standalone issue? No, not necessarily, but I think the, the, the pirate setting being set in the 1500s and this is just kind of more of the intro to the overall stuff and i'm I, you gotta wait to see how the rest of the story unfolds as is but it ends on a bit of a cliffhanger and having godzilla in a bit of this different time period allows for a, a different type of story to be told something that we haven't really seen uh done with the ip before at least i don't think there's been a godzilla pirate theme story before ever so it's an original take which has me excited and like i said i want to see how godzilla factors into this time period because i'm so used to modern uh godzilla with the uh way most things have been over the years that i think this take and the the story potential here is really what's kind of selling me on this thing and of course you get like i said you get the other pirate stuff you get like some jokes in that the time period like this guy wanting rum and all that too so yeah it's it's definitely like i said the pirate thing is kind of working for me right now uh hopefully they can nail the the rest of the story because like i said this is kind of an intro getting a little backdrop for the story before they can really kind of dive further into the rest of it so i'm excited to see where it goes from here and uh yeah i did give the thumbs up to this thing overall uh if you're looking for a lot of kaiju action you're not necessarily going to get that um um, but again, this is kind of part one. Uh, you got to have to wait and see where things are going to go because this is like a wholly original tale and it just kind of needs more time to tell its story, if you will. But uh, yeah, as it stands, I did enjoy this one. I, I, like I said, I like the artwork quite a bit. I like Godzilla and the style. And I'm just excited to see, read a pirate-themed Godzilla comic book like set in the 1500s. That's something I never actually really expected I would have gotten. And I think this has a lot of fans too intrigued to see which direction they can go in with it. So I'm giving the thumbs up on this thing. 
Um, like I said, I love Godzilla, and I'm excited to see where this thing goes from here. But anyways, that's all I really have to say about this thing. Uh, be sure to like this video, share with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content. Uh, give this thing a read. Uh, check it out. Support the uh, the Godzilla comic book so we can get more stuff uh, with the IP and all that. Uh, I, this week, I'm also going to be covering Skull Island. I also had like a, another DC comic review I was going to record right after this. That's my world's finest video. And then I got to talk about the solicitations. But also, the MonsterVerse returns tomorrow, Skull Island. I'm really excited about that. Uh, I'm going to try and just talk about that uh, at some point. Maybe I'll do a vlog or something on the whole, uh, all whatever episodes as a whole, or I'll do something else in general. I don't exactly know which direction I'm going to go with it. Maybe I'll do a vlog series on each episode and do an overall, uh, video on the entire series or live stream talking about it. But there's, there's going to be a lot of discussion to have when it comes to the Skull Island anime and how it factors into the rest of the MonsterVerse. So looking forward to all that stuff and, uh, enjoyed this thing overall. So yeah, subscribe to the channel, all that other fun stuff, and as always, take care now, bye-bye then, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.